Hey there Seahawks, it's Miss Adams and in this video we're going to learn about the least squares regression line. Alright, so the least squares regression line is the line that makes the sum of the squared residuals as small as possible. In this first scatter plot you can see the points that are kind of like a purplish color and then the line of best fit or the least squares regression line in red and then there's these vertical lines going from our data point to the um, least squares regression line which is where all the predictions are. Um, and the vertical distance is the residual. So I have some positive residuals and I have some negative residuals. If I added up all of the residuals, the sum of the residuals should be zero. Then if I squared those residuals and made like little boxes going from the point to the line of best fit, I want those squares, the sum of the squared residuals to be as small as possible. Okay, and so you can see that that's what I have in um, the B graph. So if you can imagine if I had a computer and I could tilt that line of best fit, those squares would get smaller and bigger, but the sum, if I added up all of the squared residuals, so the residual squared and added them all up, I want that number to be as small as possible. And so we mess with it and get it to just right. Now you don't have to actually calculate most of that. The, the calculator does that work for you, but that's what the least squares regression line is doing. All right, so we are gonna use technology to find the least squares regression line. One common way to measure reptiles is the snout to vent length, or SVL. The SVL is the total length of the reptile, excluding the tail. The table shows SVL in centimeters and mass in kilograms for a sample of 14 speckled caiman native to Central and South America. Use technology to calculate the least squares regression line for predicting the mass from SVL. All right, so if we were doing this in our calculator, we go to stat, edit, we're gonna enter the data into list one and list two. We're gonna go stat, calc, option eight, linear regression, A plus BX, um, and we're gonna go down to calculate. We're gonna use list one for my X list, list two for my Y list, and go to calculate, and it should give you A, B, R squared, and R, and A and B are what you're gonna use in your equation. All right, you can also go to staplet.com and go to two quantitative variables. And um, if we do this, we get y hat equals negative 17.1954 plus 0.3649x. So that was A and B. I plugged them into the equation. So that's not matching the calculator steps from your notes. This is if you plugged the SVL data into list one and the mass data into list two. This would be your equation. All right, where X stands for SVL in centimeters and Y stands for mass in kilograms. So again, we're putting in the data into list one for your SVL, mass for list two, stat calc eight, and you're getting A and B and plugging them into the equation. All right, describing the effects of an outlier, do states with higher incomes have more or less teen pregnancy than states with lower incomes. Data were collected on the median income and teen birth rate per 1,000 females for all 50 states in a recent year. A scatter plot is shown below along with the least squares regression line. Two outliers, Vermont and Connecticut, are identified on the scatter plot. All right, describe the effect Vermont has on the equation of the least squares regression line. Okay, so because the point is near X bar, so the mean of your X values, but below the rest of the points, it's going to pull the line down a little, which decreases the Y intercept, but doesn't change the slope. It's just sliding the line down. So the Y intercept, this point here, it would decrease, but the slope is not changing. Uh, part B, describe the effect Connecticut has on the equation of the least squares regression line. All right, so because this point is above the line and on the right, it's further out on the x-axis, it makes the regression line less steep. It's pulling it up, pulling the line up, the, the slope of it, uh, making this, the slope closer to zero, and it decreases the y-intercept. This point here, the, when it's going down, the y-intercept goes down and the slope gets closer to zero. All right, go Seahawks.